Okay, so this video is going to be a little bit different from the other videos on my channel so far, and it's probably going to uh, be part of a series where I talk about uh, vintage fashion or other old stuff. So this time we're talking about denim, and we're starting with the 70s here. So obviously, yes, bell bottoms were very uh, popular in the 70s, but Within that, there were also sub-trends, um, including this one you can see here with the square type of patchwork. I have seen this being referred to as window pane patchwork before, um, so if you ever want to look it up, if you're trying to buy a pair, then maybe try window pane <laughs> and see, see what comes up. We have another pair here that is the same, but it's in a darker denim. Um, a lot of the specific trends of different types of like bell bottoms and other types of denim pants um, you would be able to find in lighter or darker shades of denim. And then this one is interesting because it's it's um, that same square design but only on the side panels and playing with different shades of denim like I just mentioned so that's really cool and then this this is medium mixing so you've got denim and then side panels but it's leather and that is continued on in the pockets here and around the belt where you can see that there's a sort of braiding kind of thing going on there so that's 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 cool so moving on we have another one here that is that same idea with the side panel but the side panel itself has kind of a patchwork thing going on and then the denim itself is just plain So these bell bottoms, um, if you can't tell, the way that this type of design is done, at least to my understanding, is you take a tiny, like you pinch a tiny bit of the fabric and then sew, and then you've got these little bunches here, almost like a pleat, but not really, which is how you achieve that. And then this one is fun because you have playing with um, zippers as a decorative piece rather than functional. And then this, um, I think this was achieved by bleaching some of it, but using some kind of template to get that toothy uh, zigzag effect. So that type of window pane patchwork wasn't just found in bell bottoms, it was also found in other pieces. Very often times people would wear matching uh, bell bottoms with vests, so this is a vest that you could pair with one of those uh, pairs of bell bottom jeans. And then this is a variation where it's got that square patchwork design, but then you've got added details of the flower embroidery and the border there. This is another example. So this is a complete shirt with the square patchwork detail, except it's not on the sleeves or the collar. And then this is a patchwork that is playing with the shapes. This shape here kind of gives me a western kind of vibe. And then this is um, denim bell bottoms that has a floral print over top. That could also be achieved by embroidery, but a print is easier to manufacture. So this this is another major trend in 70s denim, the rainbow stripe, rainbow stitch. Um, so you can see this pair has uh, one leg 
with a stripe and then one leg where the stripe is just on a singular pocket. And you've got a matching vest there with the stripe. And you've got a skirt from the 70s that has that same rainbow stripe. And depending, sometimes you would have a wider rainbow stripe, rainbow stitches, and sometimes it would be thinner. Like here, on this example, it's much more thin. Um, orange is a huge color from the 70s, like in decor and wallpaper and stuff, but also in clothing. So this denim jacket that has these orange stripes here, that's a very good example of that. This is something that I would love to have and wear because orange is my favorite color. So here we have some more fun stripe placement, except this is um, not stitches. This is actually pieces of other kinds of fabric. I think that's leather. I'm not totally sure. This is fun. So um, this is a denim version of the popular fleece-lined uh, jackets from the 70s. There are also ones where the outside is sort of a beige, um, I think suede kind of material, but this is the, this is the denim version. And this is a very fun denim patchwork vest that plays with the shapes. It almost looks like clouds. And this is, this is another one, so jumpsuits were a big thing in the 70s, and this is uh, denim as a base, but then you've got a fun patchwork with some floral fabric there. And this is a denim jumpsuit that uh, has a hood on it, like a hoodie, so that's, that's pretty unique. And then this is a pair of shorts that plays with the zipper placement like that pair of bell bottoms we saw earlier um, with, with the difference being that these are shorts instead. So now we have entered the 1980s. So pleated jeans were huge in the 80s and also this type of silhouette around the waistline of... Um, like sort of a chevron design or even like a rounded sort of like a smile line what i mean by that is like you have um even on skirts like the belt of a skirt in the 80s you might have um it's it's higher at the top and then has this rounded sort of uh, there are other pieces um, in this group of photos that will help explain that better. So I'll, I'll come back to that point, but So this is interesting because you have these over panels here And you have more you have more of those pleats on the side there That's a very interesting shape and then this is interesting because you have these pleats here and you have a lot of extra fabric going into the pockets there. So the pockets themselves would be much bigger, a lot more room. And then this pair, again, playing with the shape there and um, the, the little button that actually does up the fly also extends over to match. That's, I like that. Um, fun with zipper placement again. Jeans in the 80s had more of that like tapered sort of, not skinny jeans, but definitely tapered more towards the ankle. And you can see one of the side stitches there is leaning over, so it's following the pattern of the zipper. And then matching sets were also a thing in the 80s, but it was more of like jackets to match the pants rather than vests or a shirt. Um, and it's also got some of that acid wash. 
this is another popular style um, where you've got the pants being designed to have these flaps here. Um, I don't think I've seen what it's like when those are done up all the way. Um, and then you can see pleats underneath. And it's also bedazzled a little. So here's a jumpsuit. Jumpsuits were a, a big thing in the 80s too, but just a little bit more of a 70s thing. But it did carry over. And you can see um, this is very 80s because you have that sort of smile line stitch there with the pleats, the acid wash. And then you've got kind of cap sleeves underneath the longer sleeves there. That's very 80s. And this is super fun. So you got more of that acid wash, more of that pleating. And then you've got this geometric shaped embroidery over top. And some of that dolman bat wing kind of sleeve shape, also very 80s. Again, more of that kind of smile line, except this one is less of a fluid line. And the pleats, once again. Um, and the pocket only on one side, which I didn't really notice until now. Color blocking. That's also a huge thing in the 80s. Um, color blocked jeans are pretty common as well, and this also has the pleating there. Um, sometimes it would be the entire pants, or sometimes it would be like this, where it's just a couple pieces of the, the item that are color blocked. Um, I don't have a photo of the back of this, but I think the back... Uh, pocket pieces were also color blocked in light blue and pink as well. So this one is interesting. This has two little pieces there of a tapestry type of floral design. Um, and I can't tell if that's closed or if that's right above the opening of the pockets. It's kind of hard to tell with that photo. So, here we get into the floral jeans. Floral jeans were incredibly popular in the 80s, and I think most people would probably have seen that um, displayed best um, in Back to the Future 2. Marty's girlfriend is wearing some floral jeans and I think most people who even know about that trend know about it because they've seen that movie and they've seen her wearing those pants. So this is um, some floral jeans where it's a little bit more toned down. You've got some pleating there. And this is a little bit more colorful, but it's still kind of a, a faded watercolor type of design. We got some pleats. We got a rolled up hem at the bottom. This one is not floral, but it is still dyed in a similar manner. Very watercolor. You got some pleats there. You got that line. Um, this one's kind of the same thing, but it's actually Um, I don't know what this is called. <laughs> this, um, anyway, you can see it, so you know, you know what I'm talking about. This is another floral design, but the flowers themselves on the print are a lot smaller, so it's a little harder to tell. And then this, this is a much brighter example. I really like the yellow as the background color it really pops. That's like one of the nicest pairs that I've seen. And then this, this is much more lighter. It's on the pastel side of things. It's very nice as well. That's also another similar example. Um, and this one's kind of similar, but it's like the absence of color because it's that regular 
uh, blue that you would expect in denim in the background and then the flowers over top are just white. This is a similar example. The legs are a little bit less tapered towards the end there. And this is another example, um, but a little bit more focus on the foliage um, than on the flowers specifically. And this is kind of similar to those 70s like rainbow um, pants that we looked at because this is like sort of a rainbow sort of lines going up there but it's printed on um, and it does have the pleats. This one is super interesting like that shape at the top. It's hard to see with this pair but it does have the pleats as well and this kind of boxy design. So we do have some vests. Um, as I said, matching sets with uh, 80s jeans was more about a matching jacket, but there were lots of denim vests out there. This is an example of a denim vest that has the floral thing going on. Um, and this one here, it's not printed, this is embroidered onto it. And this one is super fun because it's uh, very patchwork, but then you've also got some embroidery there. And the patchwork is laid down in a sort of picket fence uh, basket weave kind of way where you can see through it. And here we have a skirt that is denim from the 80s and is basically like the pants, but it's a skirt. Uh, this one... I couldn't tell if it was from the 80s or the 90s, but I kept it with the 80s because I think that it's probably closer to the 80s. Um, this one is super fun. So it's kind of that same deal where the denim has that floral print, but then it's got all these panels sewn together that give it this shape that they're uh, smaller on the top and then they fan out. And that's what makes the skirt uh, so much wider and, and uh, voluminous at the, at, the, at the bottom, near the hem. And here we have a skirt that really plays with shapes again, kind of similar to the, the, um, that sort of square patchwork that I was talking about with the 70s, but here it's more of a, more of a diamond. So this is really cool. This is again playing with shapes, um, but it's sort of like a mermaid type of skirt. Um, and I think mermaid silhouette stuff did kind of have its 15 minutes in the 80s, but I think that that really came back sometime in the 2000s. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not a fashion historian, so, you know, don't, don't quote me. Uh, here we have more of that playing with the shape to make it really fan out. We have more of that, that chevron V-shape waistline and lots of these are gathers more than pleats, I would say. So this is another fun matching set from the 80s, um, where it really plays with the shapes once again. And you've also got some fun embroidery, some fun zipper placement. Uh, more pleating, more embroidery, bedazzling, um, slight slight acid wash. Uh, th this pair of shorts screams 80s and I love it. So we have that same over panel uh, style with these shorts like the jeans we saw earlier but then it also has that added bedazzling there which carries on to the buttons over the fly all being different colors to match the 
bedazzling on the over panel pieces. We get another pair of shorts with some floral embroidery, um, slight bedazzling, more pleats, more of an acid wash, and then this uh, gets into the distressed look, which did become a thing, I think, right, right as the 80s was uh, in its last breath. This kind of became a little bit less of just the punks were wearing this and more of uh, other people as well started to wear it. So you see that mixing with the bedazzling and the pleating and acid washing here. Um, this is fun. This is a, a denim top um, in a style that you normally wouldn't see created with denim. That really nice romantic tie-up blouse with kind of a poet sleeve. That's very nice. Um, and then this plays with the color blocking as well. And then this floral design we have here um, is an applique rather than embroidery. And we've got a really nice denim jacket with fringe on it. You would see a lot of fringe with vests uh, and jackets that are um, leather and suede, but uh, you would also see it with denim, evident by this piece. We have a denim jacket here mixing with more of that bedazzling and uh, other fabrics mixed in there. And then this one has some bedazzling and some embroidery and playing with the shapes and stuff of it. Um, this one is interesting. So this one kind of takes almost like a cardigan shape, a little bit more of a softer shape. And the acid wash effect is less present around this collar here. And the floral detail here looks very watercolor. Um, and this one's fun because it's got the embroidery just on the collar, so it's a little bit more reserved. Um, and this one, this one's very cute. Fun zipper placement, some bedazzling, some embroidery. This time it's butterflies, which is super cool. And then this one is a dyed denim, so it's dyed red, but it's also acid washed. Um, this is really cool. And then this is more of that kind of patchwork playing with the shapes and also more bedazzling, more of that 80s um, dolman sleeve bat wing kind of shape. And this one, more bedazzling, more embroidery. You still got the pleats there. This one has a lot of bedazzling going on the top there. Um, more acid wash as well. You have these stitch lines here that look like they're entirely decorative. This one, um, a lot of these pictures um, originally come from Etsy and a lot of these are uh, clothing pieces that were sold, so um, even if I could buy them on the spot, they're not available anymore. This one, I'm genuinely bummed out about the fact that <laughs> this shirt did in fact get bought because I just like this so much. Um, you can see there, the buttons are in leaf shapes to match the patchwork and embroidery here because those are pieces of fabric but they're also embroidered around the border and around the stem which is really cool and you can see the leaf buttons are on the cuffs and some of the embroidery is also on the sleeve there that's really cool congrats to whoever bought this <laughs> So we're heading into the 90s a little bit there. That shirt that we just looked at, I'm pretty sure it's from the 90s. Um, with this fun 
sort of medium mixing with the denim um, with some lace here, some lace trim. And then this um, sort of like a, a I don't want to say Western, but sort of like, uh, what aesthetic am I thinking of? Like, living in the prairies kind of aesthetic. I'm so sorry, that sounded silly. But that's what this skirt makes me think of. And that was the last photo. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed seeing those different denim pieces. This was very catered to my specific tastes, so I might not have mentioned a lot of the trends, but I mentioned the things that I wanted to mention. <laughs> um, because if I were to mention, like, every single type of trend, we would be here for a long time. So the main thing um, is that I hope I gave you enough of an idea of what you can look forward to seeing if you get into vintage fashion and you're looking for denim pieces. Um, I hope you like the pieces that I decided to show off in this video, and I will be doing uh, videos like this for leather, uh, suede, and velvet. So, um, as well as some, um, clothing adjacent videos, like I'll be doing a jewelry one, I'll be doing one for shoes as well, I have those planned. I don't know what else I'll do outside of those, but those are the ones that, uh, I will be putting out relatively soon, <laughs> um, for these kinds of videos, my laptop likes to annoyingly overheat. So if you could really show these videos some love and support. Um, and I, I don't necessarily mean support by subscribing or giving a like, but even just like some feedback would be great. So thank you for watching. And if you are planning to return, I will see you next time.